I just wanted to give a big thank you to all of my woodland guardians, spirit guides, celestial foxlings, and kitsunes. Thank you guys so much for your support. Yo everyone, what is going on and welcome out. Ow, I just hit my arm <laughs> to another episode of Pokemon Egglock. Um, hopefully you guys are all having a fantastic day and you guys are incredibly excited after the Pokemon Presents that happened. Um, it's been a very, very long and hard, exhausting week for me. So this is my first time recording in a hot minute since the last episode. Um, but... Um, like I said, there's been a lot of craziness that's happened this week, but um, I'm very excited to just be back recording. I can finally talk about the presents. I gave you guys time to watch the last one. I gave you time to watch the actual presents itself, and now I can talk about it. I'm so incredibly excited. <laughs> um, so the fact that there's Pokemon seals, they're bringing back contests, a lot of the original aspects of um, the original, I guess you could say, of Diamond and Pearl. Um Hopefully they include, I don't know. I'm on team. I hope they keep including more mons that they didn't before. Obviously they already showed in like the underground that they expanded the amount of fire types that are in the game. Um, because that was one of people's biggest complaints with Gen 4 is that there weren't access to a lot of fire types. But um, the fact that we now have access to for sure, like mons like Numel, Camera Up, Town Doom, which I guess technically, I don't know if Numel and Camerupt were, but I know that Houndoom for sure was in the National Dex for Platinum. So I don't even know if it was National Dex, but it, for sure the regular Dex for uh, Platinum. So we'll see. It'll be very, very interesting to see what all they include. Um, obviously, we saw in Legends of Arceus that they're also including um, Hisuian forms. So a lot of different... Um, I guess you could almost refer to them as primal versions, but obviously not primal versions at the same time. So it'll be interesting to see if they include any of those aspects into Diamond and Pearl. Tobin is very adamant that he thinks that they're still going to include Megas or something into uh, BDSP. I'm not sure how I necessarily feel about that specific... um, Like, that specific integration into that game... I feel like personally, if we were getting Megas, considering the fact that the game is launching in two months, that they would have shown it to us already. So I don't know. I feel, yeah, I, 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 I don't know. It's hard to say. I feel like that could have been the last presents for Brilliant Diamond Shining Pearl. Um, unless they're keeping like one of the biggest things about it um, on the back burner and they're just waiting until like maybe the month before or something like that to get people like super excited about it. So <clears throat> I just died there for a second. Um, but yeah, so that's something that's really, really cool. I'm very excited for it. Um, he did bring up a good point though of the fact that they really haven't shown us anything for the legends aside from like the box art of them like screaming, if you will. So I was like, you're he's technically not wrong on that so it'll be definitely very very intriguing to see if they do add anything for the legendaries obviously they haven't shown anything for garatina at all so um considering the fact that the person was shown in floroma town of the original trailer of the shaman event it'll be interesting to see what they're planning on doing for all of the legendaries considering garatina is technically a box art legendary if you will so it's kind of one of those things of like, are they going to only give us Dialga, Palkia, and then everything else is some kind of event? And then what are they going to do for the post game? Is the Battle Frontier going to be there? Are they going to give us like a Platinum episode like they did for the Delta episode where you get access to everything else? So there's a lot of different controversies, I guess I will say going forward. We still have no coverage for water types. Forgot about that. I forgot about that part. Oopsies. Teehee, my bad. Forgot about that. Um, but so yeah, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Um, I was very, very happy though. I did say it in the last episode that I was able to go to Twitter and people genuinely just seem really, really excited for the game. So the fact that people just haven't been crapping on the game the entire time is just really, really exciting. And it just, it's so much healthier for your mental health. You know, when you're able to go on a platform and like the one thing that you're really, really excited for 
isn't getting crapped on by everyone on the internet. You know what I mean? So, I don't know. I think it'll be a really cool time. Um, Legends of Arceus is obviously insane. So, super cool things that they're adding there. I don't know. I'm just really, really excited for it. I have nothing but good things to say about everything that's kind of been happening right now. I'm really excited for them to... Ow, frick. I keep hurting myself this episode. Um, I'm really excited for them to keep adding uh, Mons into Pokemon Unite. I know, obviously, they talked about Shaman. Not Shaman. Teehee. Sylveon. They talked about Mamoswine. Um, we already know that Blastoise is coming eventually as well. So that's really cool. So a lot of cool things being added. So I'm just really excited to see where things take us by the time that Arceus drops. You know what I mean? Like, there's so much time and so many cool things that are going to be announced. So it's kind of, it's genuinely just a really cool time to be a Pokemon fan, in my personal opinion. Um, obviously, I wish Niantic would do more on, like, hearing people out, especially into regards of that kind of stuff, because I know that specific section of Pokemon right now is the area that needs probably the most work. <laughs> um, but, like, especially if you're a fan of Masters, there's a lot of cool stuff happening with Masters. Um... Unite, they're adding more characters. You know, Diamond and Pearl, they keep adding a lot of really cool things and keeping things faithful to what it was, which is also really exciting. Um, Legends of Arceus is finally giving people the kind of game that they've wanted for a really long time. So like I said, it's a really, really cool time to be a Pokemon fan. And I have a lot of hopes for it going forward, just because if we think about the kind of games that we've been getting recently, um, I'm very excited to see what uh, Gen 9 looks like. So I know that they technically like gave Gen 4 to another team, but I feel like it's really kind of cool to think about the fact that they could have given that game to a side company. So that way their main team who's done the artwork for like Legends of Arceus and all that kind of stuff can focus on Gen 9. And hopefully Gen 9 can have those kind of like really cool... Um, like immersive graphics that I feel like everyone really likes. Um, also, I was not aware of this until recently, but apparently um, the same company that did um, Pokemon Tournament is the same company that did Pokemon Snap, to my knowledge. Um, I think that's what Tobin told me. So even if they end up continuing to work with that company, um, both of those games are visually stunning. Um, and granted... Pokemon uh, Snap is meant to be this, like, very, very, like, visually engrossing game, and that's why it's so pretty. Um, because without the stunning visuals, it probably wouldn't be as fun for people. Like, you, Snap, the, Snap's a fun game, but also if you think about the core root of what Pokemon Snap is, like, there's a reason you either like the game or you don't kind of thing. So if they keep working with that company... Um, obviously, Pokemon Tournament looks visually stunning. Pokemon Snap looks incredibly stunning. So if they continue to keep doing all these things, like just think about the games that we're going to be getting in the future. If they keep getting such positive feedback for those kind of games. So even if it's a side game, hopefully like that can transition to a full time game. Like, I don't know. I'm an optimist. And I feel like sometimes people look at the negatives a lot, as I've kind of said in the past before. So, I don't know. I'm just, I'm very excited for things going forward. And I think there's a lot of cool opportunities ahead that people don't take the time to open their eyes and see the bright shining sunlight that is ahead. So, I don't know. It'll be really cool. Um, I'm also, this is a very like obscure thing to be excited about, but um, considering all the people who like make products for like AWA, which is Anime Week in Atlanta, um, and people who are like on expo floors and stuff like that, it's going to be really cool to see like the kind of merchandise that people are able to come up with, especially for things like Legends of Arceus and stuff like that, just because it's such a unique, I'm going to say the word vibe because I don't know what else to compare that to. Like it's such a unique aesthetic vibe, just like overall feeling that comes with that game. So it's also just going to be really, really cool to see how that gets translated into merchandise. Like, not only for places like AWA, where they have a little bit more of, like, creative freedom, I will say with it, I was not paying attention to the shadows. I think it's number two. Um, but, like, even the Pokemon company, 
like seeing the kind of stuff that they're going to come up with, it is number two. I was correct. So I don't know. Like I said, that's the optimist in me speaking, but very, very excited, you know, and that just kind of be how it be. Also, wanted to give a quick shout out. Obviously, I realize this is episode like 13 or something to that extent, but I just wanted to give a quick shout out. Hi, thank you to everyone who has been watching this series and coming and hanging out from the Then We Fight videos. Um, recording that with Dylan and Frank was super, 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 super fun. Um, that's my first time like doing a full blown collaborative thing with um, Dylan for sure. Um, but obviously Tobin's worked with them a lot more than I have. And just that project in an entire whole, we recorded every single one of those back to back. And that project has been in the work for probably close to a month now. So um, I just wanted to thank you guys for just showing ample amounts of love to it. There were several people who came into the live stream earlier today um, who said that they specifically started watching Egglock because of that series. Um, so the fact that you guys are hanging out, enjoying the series and showing so much love to the channel, like it genuinely does mean so, so, so much. Um, it was my goal as of the start of 2021 to hit 10K, um, just because I knew it was going to be a slower year in terms of like content that we could truly make on Pokemon. Because aside from Snap, at that point in time, we didn't have a ton to really like make content on this year. So with the mindset that it was going to be a slower year, because um, Sword and Shield has, for the most part, I feel like everyone can agree, just kind of died off. And everyone played the DLC for a couple days. But aside from like Dynamax Adventures, no one's like really that obsessed with Sword and Shield anymore. So um, the fact that we are also um, over 9K now, um, pushing, we're about, as of right now in this very moment, we're about a fourth of the way-ish to 10K. We're at like 9,200. So um, you guys have shown insane, like absolutely nuts amount of support. So you guys are legends and I do not deserve you. That is really all I'm trying to get out of this. So I believe that we can hit it before 2022 starts. We got like four months. So let us pray Quasar, cross our T's, dot our I's, and first and foremost, we're going to make Clement quake on the insides. That was horrible. That was absolutely disgusting. And you know what? Here we are. I just wanted him to be shaking in his boots a little bit. That's all I want. All right. What do you have for us? Also, where does your claw come from? <laughs> Starly. Oh, it's easy. It's just not hard. All right. Hello, Brawly. I have lunch meat for you. How do you feel about lunch meat today? Are you hungry? Did you wake up on the hungry side of the bed? Just like me, constantly wanting to eat. You did. What a legend. <laughs> <laughs> what a legend he was. Mudball grew to level 37. All right. Well, at this rate, we should be able to fingers crossed get some encounters today as long as we're able to beat our rivals just as fast as we're taking out Brawly here. Um, You are pure. Do you have a nice typing at this point? I feel like you're pure water. I'm going to Lance Wrath just in case. It didn't matter. It did not matter at all. I, I swear you're pure water. It's one of those things where you always like have that sliver of a doubt of like, wait a gosh darn minute. But I think at this point we're good. I think at this point we're chilling. Bye. Larvitar, it's been really fun. It's been such a great time. And I really hate to do this to you the way that I did. It was really dirty and I'm sorry. Bye Antoinette. That was a quickie. <laughs> Goodbye. All right. Thanks, Clement. What a friend. I'm, I'm sorry to, you know, strike the fear of God into you with just my flying scorpion. You know, I'm... however, Bonnie on the other side is like, hi, how's it going? We're doing great. My eyes don't. Oh, she does blink. OK, I was going to say my eyes don't blink as she blinks. It's fine. It's great. Um, That was a very solid TM, though, so. I don't think anyone can necessarily learn it, but a fantastic chef's kiss of a TM nonetheless. Absolute banger. Okay. So we all know. We all know what is about to happen, and it is time for useless dialogue. And we all know 
what we do for useless dialogue. That's it. We spam through the text as fast as humanly possible so we don't have to deal with it. That's exactly correct. You guys are all such good guessers. Every single one of you gets a singular crisp high five right on your hand right now to tell you that you're doing absolutely fantastic things today and I hope you're feeling well, that you are drinking water, staying hydrated. If you forgot to take your medicine, this is your reminder to do so. And to spread the positive vibes that everyone deserves and loves. <laughs> okay. Team healed. Professor about to be spoken to. My stomach growling. <laughs> um, Tobin and I are getting tacos at a restaurant with some of my uh, work friends tonight. So, um... I'm very, very excited. I've never been to this taco place before. So um, the idea of having like authentic Mexican food, Tobin's a margarita person. I am not a tequila person in the slightest. So I'm going to say cocktail minus tequila. Um, and I've realized that that is like a sin to go to a Mexican restaurant and not order tequila. But let me tell you, it's just, it's not it. It is not the way, Chief. And you know what? That's fine if you enjoy it. And I'm really happy that you enjoy it. I know Taylor really enjoys tequila, but I am just, it's not my jam. It's not my jive. Anything else? Well, anything minus beer or wine or anything else. It's fine. I'm fine. Everything's fine. I just want tacos. Tacos with extra pico de gallo. Chef's kiss. Extra cilantro as well. So good. Cilantro was God's gift to man. And if you are one of the people who had the sad genetic, um, I don't even know what to call it. It's a certain genetic makeup that you can have to where cilantro tastes like soap to you if you eat it. If you are one of those people that have that genetic makeup, just know that I genuinely, truly apologize for the sadness that you have to feel while consuming cilantro because it is so good. If you can taste what it actually tastes like and it doesn't taste like soap to you, <laughs> And it makes me so sad that some people will never be able to experience it. Okay, so that is the Badlands. Okay. So I wanted to make sure that on the way I got the other route that you can visit while you're in Lumios. Um, because we can technically fish and get an encounter there as well. So that's what I was looking for. I just wanted to make sure that I didn't pass it. Is it just... Am I just dumb? Because this is the one that takes you to where Trevor and all them are, right? Yep. Okay. Cool. So <laughs> it's fine. I guess we'll just go back there later. Maybe I just have to go the other direction. Because I feel it's fine. I'll figure it out. I'll find it. I know it's up there. I know it's one of the exits. I just couldn't remember what number it is. Maybe it's 12. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Oh, well, I know we can fish there and I know we can get an encounter and I want to hatch your guys' eggs. So this is me doing so. That is an Articuno, sir. Do you have time to hear about your car's extended warranty? We've been trying to reach you. <laughs> uh, okay, this is a job for Blaze. Hashtag Blaze it. Okay. Please meet Puppy. Puppy is here to give you the tackles and love and good boy kisses that Puppy can provide. You know, Articunos have feelings too. This is an Articuno stan account. Also, do I have water down here? My throat just like died in the middle of this episode. Okay, I don't have water, but I have this. What is this? A tiny bit of leftover Gatorade. Great, sure. I guess that counts for something. That was a lot of recoil damage. Goodness gracious. Okay. You know what? Anything works at this point, right, Perry? We do enjoy Perry the hamster around these parts. And I will have you know, I don't know if after these episodes, everyone just figured out where I worked and decided that they all needed a Perry, but I have fantastic news for all of you. Every single Perry in my store, has found a loving, caring, and nurturing home. Perry is no longer trapped within the confines of my work, and I am so glad that the people of this nation are giving Perry the love, support, and good boops on the snoot that he deserves. I'm so thrilled and ecstatic 
that every pup, every puppy, every Perry found their forever home. Just like this Perry. We love him, we care him, and most importantly, all of his other friends found loving homes. And honestly, that's all we could ask for at the end of the day, you know? What, where would we be today without Perry and his entire family saving the human race? I simply don't know. I wish I could give you guys the answers. But alas, I'm just a Perry fr stan. All right, who's your last mon? Oh, you have a th I forget, this is the infamous Thunderous. Right, that's not what I meant to do. Okay, so what happens if I play rough? Do you live this? You do. Don't have revenge. Okay, you have shockwave. <laughs> Owie! Puppy go burr. Puppy go burr. Puppy, 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 puppy go burr. Absolutely. <laughs> you see what I did? Absolutely. I'll be here all week. I will gladly, gladly be here all week. And some of you face palmed. Some of you just cringed really hard and got secondhand embarrassment. And you know what? Regardless of your reaction, you chose to be here and you chose to subscribe to this channel. So there's nothing more that I can give you other than the content that you signed up for. <laughs> you signed up for this mess that is me and therefore you shall get the mess that is me 24-7. And if you think it's bad listening to it, imagine being trapped in my head all day. Imagine having this cranium stuck to your head controlling everything that you thought and words that come out of your mouth on a daily basis. It's an experience, let me tell you. I wish I could tell you some of the things that happen in my head, but <laughs> you, pr you probably don't want to know. It's fine. We're doing our gosh darn best. Okay, so it's time for an encounter, everyone. The moments that we've been waiting for for the past few episodes. And if we have time, I'll, see I'll go the other way. And I'll see if that's where the other um, little fishing area where you can get an encounter is. Okay. Please stop talking. Please stop talking. Guys, please stop talking. Okay. Stop talking. I understand. Why did they have to give us five rivals instead of one when they all never stop talking? I just... I just want to play the game. It's all I want to do. Okay. I also didn't check if we have balls. I hope we do. Ambipom! What a friend! Okay. Um, you should live a... Cr no, we are 11 levels higher? Goodness gracious. Um, you can take... You can take a hit from a child, right? You you absolutely can take a nice solid hammer. <laughs> no, that's nope. Uh, you can take um, a nice confusion from a child. I don't have confusion. You can take a pursuit from a child. Maybe. Maybe. Please. Okay. Yes, you take that very well. Okay, take another one. Don't screech, that's dangerous. That Inside voices, inside voices, please. There's no reason to screech around these parts. No one can hear you. Um, Aside from the haunted mansion, but I guess they don't really care. That's kind of their intended goal throughout all this. Okay, not even a jiggle, why? Explain to me why and how. Okay, six balls. Yikes. Do I still have hypnosis? I might be able to put you to sleep. Game Boy Luke. What a sinner. That's like the first time that hasn't worked this entire series. Are we, are we good? Okay, let's try putting you to sleep. How do you feel about a great nap? Monkeys need their rest too. Monkeys work very hard to make this world go round. And you know what I am here? To support monkeys in their endeavor as long as they are spreading kindness and love to one another. And right now, little monkey friend, you are not spreading kindness and love to one another. I almost dragon pulsed you on accident, just so we're also aware. I almost sent you to the heavens for that mistake. <laughs> okay, let's not hit dragon pulse. Let's... <laughs> this is what we're not gonna do. 
This is what we're not gonna do. Okay, please just go to bed. Thank you. And we're gonna get balls next time, okay? We're going to do it, okay. Go to sleep, go to sleep. We're going to kidnap you, monkey. That's all it needs. That's all that he needs to know how to do. Okay. Probably grew to level 43. What a dude. Okay, where's my phone? Phone, you have a job to do. It fell on the floor. Just as everything apparently does today. This is a train wreck of an episode. I can't reach it. I can't reach it. I got it. Okay, I did it. Okay. <sighs> where's my bike? Okay. Rolling around at the speed of sound. Got places to go. Gotta follow my rainbow. Okay. Let's go ahead and get us a nice, nice encounter. Boo, 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 boo. I feel like I passed one. I feel like I passed a Pokemon Center, but it's fine. We'll get it figured out. Okay. The chosen box. Will it be the infamous box three today? Okay, first and foremost. Imposter, you are a real encounter. Francis can be released. I might be able to just start consolidating some of these boxes as well. So maybe I'll start doing that in the next few episodes just to make it a little cleaner. Okay, Noivern, you can go bye-bye. Clarion, you're here forever. <laughs> Clarion will not be released. Let me make one thing clear. We are not releasing the channel mascot today. Okay. Great. Where'd you go? Okay. Let me turn up the volume because Siri likes to be quiet. Choose a number between one and three. It's one. Okay. Choose a number between one and five. No. It's four. One, two, three, four. It's six. I lied to you. Choose a number between one and six. The answer is six. Okay, number six. Getting representation. Choose a number between one and five. It's two. Okay, there we go. This is spiky. Okay. S-P-I-K-Y. My, my idea is Phariseed. I feel like that's something someone would do is Phariseed. What else is spiky? Sand slash is spiky. Is this a Ferris seed? Oh, that's coverage. That is coverage for water types that we technically don't have right now. Wow, wow, wow. Did you see that fail right there? Spiky. All right, let's check spiky out here a little bit. Spiky is level one. Static as an ability with Thundershock, Tail Whip, Charm, and Sweet Kiss. Holding nothing. Interesting. Do I have like a, a, that's an Eviolite. Yeah, no, I don't have a like Soothe Bell. That's what I was thinking of that I can give you. Oh, I'm like out of rare candies. Okay. I will get it up as high as I can. And then um, in the next episode, I'll make sure that it gets all the way to where it needs to be. I don't know if this will just evolve. I don't know how much friendship Spiky really takes, but we'll see how long it takes us to get a Pikachu. I'm surprised it didn't come with a Thunderstone. That way you can make a Raichu. If I had a Raichu right now, I would actually add it. I would swap someone for it. Thunder Wave. Oh, that's not what... Mm. Yeah, we technically don't really need it. We have hypnosis. 
Okay. Will you evolve into the Pikachu that we love, know, and cherish deeply to our hearts? The one who pays every single PokeTuber's bills. The one and only infamous Pikachu. Please, I'm begging. Please evolve into a Pikachu. Because then I can at least go back to all of the like secondary marts and see if anyone has a Thunderstone in there that we just forgot to check along the way. That's the other option that comes along with this. I don't remember ever finding a Thunderstone. And field items are randomized, so it's not like we can just go back to like that little path south of Geosenge and find one. Oh yeah, this Pichu is not wanting to be our friend, guys. <gasps> yeah, I think that was the last of our candy too. I think that was literally our last one. That's nuts. Spiky, 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 spiky. He did it. He's our friend. What a little man doing little man things just like a little man does. Oh, you're not a man. You're a pretty lady. You are a gorgeous, gorgeous woman. Yeah, that was literally our last rare candy we had. That's so crazy. What did your ability change to? Hypercutter. Okay. I mean, I, I could try to run a physical um, Pikachu set. If I really wanted to. Its attack is way higher than its special attack right now, which is kind of crazy, but... Oh, well. Oh, whale. All right. In the meantime, guys, I am going to go ahead and call it an episode here. Um, I'll probably start the episode at that other path that I was talking about that I know exists, but I just have to figure out where it is up above here. But thank you guys so much for watching this episode. You guys are wonderful people that I appreciate greatly. And I hope you guys all take care of yourselves and you have a wonderful rest of your day.